Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prepare 0.5 normal H2SO4 solution. So here is the expression that we normally use to prepare a normal solution. Its volume in ml is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume of solution in liters into 100 divided by density into percentage purity of the substance. Since we are preparing H2SO4 solution and the normality that we are given is 0.5 normal. So 0.5 normal. Equivalent weight of H2SO4 is 49. Uh, 1 represents the volume of solution in liters and 100 is from the equation. In the denominator, 1.84 is the density and H2SO4 is 98% pure in this particular example. When we solve this equation, the volume that comes out is 13.58 ml. Now, this is the volume that needs to be put into volumetric flask and rest of the bottle is filled with the distilled water to prepare 0.5 normal H2SO4 solution. Now this might be coming into your mind, what sort of expression is this to prepare normal solution? Let me show you how I have derived this expression. Normally the equation that you are familiar with with regard to normality is this one, number of gram equivalents divided by volume of solution in liter. And gram equivalents are actually weight in gram of a substance divided by equivalent weight. Now let's put this equation number two into equation number one. Then this equation one takes this particular shape. So normality is equal to weight of a substance, equivalent weight into volume in liter. Now what is equivalent weight? Equivalent weight is actually molar mass of a substance divided by N. And let me explain what this N is. Actually, N takes up different value for different substances. For example, in case of acids, it is replaceable H positive ion or ionizable H positive ions. In case of bases, it is ionizable or replaceable OH negative ions. And in case of salts, it is charged on metal. And for substances in redox reaction, it's the change in oxidation state. Let, let me give you a few examples to get around this equivalent weight issue. Right over here, you can see I have calculated the gram equivalents of different substances. In case of HCl, the molar mass of HCl is 36.5 and replaceable hydrogen in HCl is 1. So 36.5 divided by 1, this is going to be its equivalent weight. In case of H2SO4, we know that there are two replaceable hydrogen or ionizable hydrogen. So we will divide its molar mass by 2 and this is its gram equivalent. Similarly, in case of sodium hydroxide, 40 divided by 1, we get 40 gram equivalents. In case of calcium hydroxide, we know there are two replaceable OH negative ions. So 74 is the molar mass of calcium hydroxide divided by 2, and this is the gram equivalent of calcium hydroxide. Similarly, in case of calcium chloride, which is a salt, it is actually the charge on metal ion. So 111 is the formula weight of calcium chloride, and 2 is the charge on calcium. So 55.5 comes out to be its gram equivalent. Now, here is a tricky thing. Now we have potassium permanganate. It is the molar mass of potassium permanganate is 158 divided by 5 to give us 31.6 gram equivalents. Why we have divided it by 5? It is actually the change in oxidation state. Let's see right over here. You can see when potassium permanganate reacts with H2SO4, it gives us potassium sulfate, manganese sulfate, H2O and oxygen. Now, oxidation state of manganese over here is plus 7. And after reaction, the oxidation state of manganese comes out to be plus 2. So the change comes out to be plus 7, minus 2, and this comes out to be 5. So you might, so whenever you are dealing with redox reactions, make sure that you must find the difference between oxidation state of the substance and what is the change in oxidation state. I hope so far you have understood the concept of equivalent weight. Now, let's go back to our equation, and that was this particular one. Let's proceed further. So this was the equation. Normality is equal to weight of a substance, equivalent weight into volume of solution in liter. Now what we do, we divide this denominator with normality to find out the weight of the substance. So normality into equivalent weight into volume of solution is equal to weight of a substance. Now you know, in case of H2SO4, we have to deal with volume, not with weight. And one more thing that must be borne in mind, not always H2SO4 is 100% pure. So here is an issue. So how to get rid of this issue? Let me show you. Now, in place of weight of a substance, we know that weight or mass are equivalent to volume into density. So let's put 
in place of weight of substance volume into density so this equation would become volume into density is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume now as i've told you h2so4 is not 100 percent pure it is 98 percent pure so it is its percentage purity so we can write so after putting volume and density let's divide the density let's take this density to the other side of the equation and this equation would take the form now we, we are left with only volume so volume is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume in liter so this is the solution volume divided by density now as i have told you h 4 is 98 percent pure in most of the cases so 100 would go on this side and 98 to the denominator so now this is the final equation that you can use to calculate the volume required to prepare 0.5 normal h2so4 solution we can also write 98 as percentage purity so what this was how this equation is derived now let me give you one more version of this equation you can see volume over here is in liter for example you are preparing your solution not in liter but in ml then what you would do you can actually use mls but divide it by thousand to convert it into liters like this right over here you can see volume is equal to normality into equivalent weight into volume of solution in ml right over here volume of solution in ml actually it was in liters into 100 divided by density into percentage purity into thousand so now this thousand would cross with 100 so we are left with 10 in the denominator now the final equation is normality into equivalent weight into volume of solution in ml divided by density into percentage purity into 10 now you can use this particular formula to calculate the volume of h2so4 hcl or any other acid in liquid state to calculate its normality simply when you have calculated the volume place this volume into volumetric flask and put in extra distilled water to make it to 1000 and you are done with your solution so that was it for today's tutorial i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching